This is the grade 8 math practice test for TN. Ready? Currently, question number 12. Points D and E are graphed on the coordinate plane. What is the distance in units between point D and point E? So they want to know how far apart they are. This distance. Doing it directly is a little complicated. There's a few ways that you can do this, actually. Um, you can use the distance formula. But what I'm going to do instead is use the Pythagorean theorem. Why would I do that? Well, if I just go the long way and don't cut through any of the parts, I can see that I have a right triangle. And it's easier for me to count than trying to do find this point and this point. I just don't like doing that way. And the distance formula is a component, is a... Uh, offshoot of the Pythagorean theorem anyway. So if I have a right triangle and I need to know something about the lengths of the sides and I have at least two of the lengths of the sides, I can use Pythagorean theorem to do it. Now if I'm dealing with angles and only have one side, that's a whole other thing. We're not going to talk about that. Um, but in this case, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A and B represent the sides that make up the right angle, and the C is the hypotenuse. So this is A, and this is B, or this could be A, and this could be B. It doesn't actually matter. And then this could be C. So what I want to do is count. I know that's really hard. 1, 2. So this becomes 2 squared plus B squared is 1, 2, 3. So that's 3 squared. And c squared so we don't know what that is yet so we're going to try to find it now i need to go ahead and combine like terms on the same side and do all the order of operations and no 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 there's no parentheses so i'm going to do the exponents two squared is four or two to the second power is four three to the second power is nine since they're on the same side i'm adding them which is why it's really important here to write down the formula Early on in my career, I realized that people would miss a lot of these, and it was because either they they get these right, but they miss other ones just like it a lot. It's because they wouldn't they weren't writing it down, and they weren't identifying where the points were supposed to go. So they assumed everything was a and b. In this case, they are giving you the values of a and b, but that's not always true. If it, they gave you a C and a B, you'd have to subtract instead of add. So take the time to write this down and then write this down. If you do the rest really fast in your calculator, whatever. As long as you're smart about how that works, I'm okay with it. But just take the one minute it takes to write both those things down and identify correctly so you don't do all this work for nothing. Anyway, 4 plus 9 is 13. We're down at our final step. We're not looking for the value of C squared, as you can see. We're looking for the value of C. So I need to eliminate this to the second power. Well, the opposite of um, to the second power is to square root or take the second root. So I'm going to get rid of this square by square rooting it. By taking the square root, you obviously don't square root it. Um, so you end up with C is equal to the square root of 13. So the answer to number 12 is R. That's how that whole thing works. Be careful when you work this type of problem that you end up getting, um, that you square things. That's a big deal. Uh, and then when you get to the end, you want to always, when you're solving, try to come back and take that square root out. And that'll give you your final points. I'm just drawing out the squares, just in case you're wondering. If you counted here and you counted here, You'd end up with 4, 9, and this would end up, um, it gives you half squares and things because it's at an odd angle, but this would actually be that um, the size of the square as well. So 2 squared is actually 1, 2, 3, 4. That's where that 4 comes from, and 3 is 9. And when you did uh, square to 13, this should have 13 blocks in it. So it's such an awkward size, and you get half the angles and stuff, but that's where the Pythagorean theorem comes from. Anyway, that's it. Write it down. Make sure you get it in the right spot and you should be easy to do.